All right, looks like we are live. I think we're live right now. Okay, what's up everybody? Dana Bear from AdWords Nerds here. I'm doing this training because this is something um, that has come up for multiple clients of ours recently. And I wanted to do this as a little bit of like community service to the real estate investing world because if you are an investor, I can almost guarantee you get spam calls from SEO companies probably like at least a couple times a month, if not a couple times a week. Uh, I put up an investor care at site. This is true. I put up an investor care at site for a coaching program. It's not even a real company. I just put it up. It was called Barrett Home Buyers. It was an example for the students that I was teaching, kind of building up their own investor care at sites. So anyway, still, I put it up. It was like years ago. I still get spam phone calls from SEO companies <laughs> like every week asking me if I want to do SEO. And so there are a lot of weird claims, weird stuff going on. So I want to break down a little bit. This is sort of an easy way to tell if you are talking to a legit company. I mean, first of all, no legit company is calling you on the phone. I mean, just really like legit agencies very rarely do cold calling. It's just not super common. But even beyond that, if you're working with an agency or you're talking to somebody, I'm going to give you an easy way of kind of pulling aside the curtain and getting to the core of whether they know what they're talking about or not. So let's talk about this. Let's, uh, I'm going to switch screen over to here and I'm going to blow this up into presentation mode. Hopefully this is still working here. So let's talk about momentum cycles. And this is all about understanding how legitimate SEO works. This is something that I think a lot of people don't understand, but once you get it, it's going to make total sense. All right. So first of all, let's talk about what SEOs even do most of the time, because yes, SEO, search engine optimization, if you're not super clear what I'm talking about, this things that people are doing to rank your website in Google, it's a shady industry. It just is. Okay. There are a ton of dubious claims. There are people that are going to call you saying all sorts of things are going to get you on the first page of Google in 10 seconds, all this super annoying stuff. And the two things that I'm typically going to look out for are fast results, so pe people claiming really quick results, and people offering really great monthly plans. And I'm going to dig into that in a little bit, both in the, the fast results and the monthly plans. things. But these are kind of like two red flags for me because there are a lot of shady people in this business, and it's kind of hard to tell, honestly, some of the time, like who, who is legit and who isn't. So, oh, by the way... <laughs> I was Googling for SEO pictures and I found this dude who's the coolest guy in SEO. So I said, if this is the coolest guy in SEO, imagine what the other dudes look like. Uh, I just thought that was funny. Not to slam on this dude. I'm sure he's legit. I just thought this was pretty hilarious. So anyway, uh, here is the reason you need to think about this. I feel bad for this dude now. And I'm just kind of slaving on this guy for no reason. I am sure he's an awesome dude. He looks very professional. Anyway, let's talk about this. The reason you need to think about this is because bad SEO is damaging, right? It is literally damaging. It is worse than doing nothing because bad SEO typically is going to bring you in line with Google slaps, which are sort of like Google basically saying, hey, you're breaking the rules. You're doing shady stuff. We're going to delist your site. We're going to basically disappear you from Google. And that's really, really damaging if you rely on organic search to generate motivated seller leads. And of course, like even if something's technically okay now, algorithm changes in the future, a lot of times make those things bad. They make, um, you know, techniques that are people are using right now, essentially against the rules. And they go back in time and they slap you for doing that, right? So even things that are kind of on the borderline, which are sort of okay, there's really this risk that they're gonna damage you in the future. And, and right now, Google Organic is a huge source of potential motivated seller leads. It is not something you want to block yourself out of by pursuing the short term, right? And I haven't even mentioned opportunity cost because while you are doing bad SEO and you are doing these things that are gonna hurt you or you're doing these things that are not particularly worthwhile or not particularly useful or don't really help, you have the opportunity cost of not pursuing the things that will help. And you can bet that your competitors 
are doing that, right? So there's this sort of dual cost. There's the risk of potential damage to you in the short term. And then there's the opportunity cost of not focusing on stuff that actually matters, right? So one of the primary ways to spot low quality work or low quality SEO agency is a focus on monthly deliverables rather than results. OK, this is a company that says like, hey, you pay us X amount of dollars. We're going to do these five things for you every single month. And there's a reason that agencies might do this, right? Because clients and I'm talking to you as investors, right? Investors often want to know like, hey, like I gave you this money. What did you do this month? What did you do this week? Exactly what kind of work did you do? I'm actually going to give you a detailed breakdown of like everything we did for a client in the first three months. Okay, I'm gonna give you that. I'm literally gonna give you our playbook for what we do for SEO clients. So clients ask this stuff all the time. It's totally understandable. When you pay someone money, you wanna know what they're doing for that money. You wanna know that someone's not sitting on their hands, right? But this is actually a red flag for me, right? A focus on monthly deliverables rather than results right? Saying I did X, Y, Z tasks rather than focusing on what you got out of those tasks is a real warning sign because high quality agencies generally are going to do their work in momentum cycles. They are not thinking about a monthly list of deliverables. They are thinking in cycles of rest and activity, okay? Let me give you an example of what this might look like. It's a real simple breakdown of what a momentum cycle might work like, right? Over here on the left, we start with, you know, a client gets started in SEO and there's a lot of intense work to do. There's content being created. There's modifications made to the site. There's modifications made to third party sites all over the internet, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of activity. Then typically what's going to follow that is a period of relative rest, where you are monitoring the results of the work you did in the first phase. Basically saying like, hey, we did all this work. Now what is happening because we did that work? And then after you get those results, you go into a third phase where you revise the strategy. You decide like, hey, based on what we did, based on the results that we got, here's how we want to change what we're doing. And then you go back into a period of intense work. These are like really similar. If you are like in the fitness world at all, or you've got any sort of familiarity with this, right? When you go into the gym, you don't just work your biceps every single day because you end up breaking them down faster than they can build themselves back up, right? This, what we do is you go in, you work your biceps one day, and then you work your chest one day, and then you work your legs the next day, and then you work your back. And then you come back to the biceps at the beginning of the month, because, or the beginning of the week rather, because those muscle groups all need time to rest and repair, right? Now, I know what you're saying, like, my website isn't a muscle. It doesn't need to repair itself. So what's the deal with the work and then monitoring or rest cycles, right? Why is that necessary? What's well, necessary because SEO is a lagging indicator. Your rank within Google is a lagging indicator. The changes in the ranks are going to come significantly after the work that you did right? This is one of the reasons that I say watch out for people who claim really fast results, because no matter how fast you do the work and how good at this you are, Google is a lagging indicator, right? From the time you start going to the gym to the time you look like a giant, you know, muscle man, right? Or muscle woman or whatever it is, there's a lot of time in between there, right? The time where you start going to the gym, you don't say like, hey, I didn't get, I didn't get ripped this first day I was in the gym, therefore going to the gym doesn't work right? It's a lagging indicator. There has to be time for Google to re-index the site, to decide how to rank that site, and for that to be reflected in the actual Google rankings, right? It's also necessary because opportunity cost, which I mentioned before, is very real. You want to put the time and effort into the work that is producing movement. And no matter how many times you've done SEO, you know, even for us, like we only work with investors, you know, we do this all the time. Even for us, we don't exactly know where the movement's going to be in any market. Every market's different. Everyone's got different competitors. Everyone's got a different content setup when we start. So you have to watch for missteps. You have to be able to do the work and then say, okay, where did the results come from? Where did uh, we see movement? Where did we see improvement? And what did we do that produced no improvement, right? That way you can analyze the work that you're doing and make sure you are putting your effort in the highest leverage types of tasks, types of work that you can do. And that's going to produce much better results over the long term.
Now I'm going to actually break this down. I said I would break down exactly what we did for this client because we had clients ask for itemized lists of work that we did, right? So let's go through this. Have a call with them to understand their current situation, right? Set up their campaigns and our tracking software, measure current rankings and track improved rankings inside Google. Set up goal tracking inside Google Analytics, right? To measure conversions, set them up on Google My Business, verifying their address across all the online platforms, not just this one. Build local citation. Convert their site to an SSL form, which is just a more secure version of their website, right? Create new content designed to help them rank for motivated seller searches in targeted cities or locations. Take their unique value proposition and aim the right 500, 1200 words of unique copy, optimized for SEO, sounds natural and communicate what makes them unique. Convert that content to pages on their website, which we perform on-page optimizations, making sure we read all relevant ranking factors. There's about 13 ranking factors that we find really useful on you know, every single piece of content or every page that we produce. Submit their updated sitemap to Google Webmaster account, all right? Send a list of very few places we recommend they go build reputable, relevant, value passing links. So we basically say like, hey, based on your scenario, we would go try to get, you know, solicit links here, or sometimes we do that. Okay, all of this is in the first month, okay? All of this is one month of work. 11, 12, and 13 could be anywhere from another month to another two months. Measure their progress and ranking improvement and send a report every 30 days. Study by hand their top three competitors, ranking their market to make sure our clients and missing any links their competitors are using. Monitor the health of their campaign with subsequent reports and see if they are performing poorly. Revisit the site to see what improvements can be made or what might be causing issues. 80% of this is in the first three to four weeks that we're working with a client. That's the intense activity phase, right? After that, we've got a monitoring phase where we're saying, hey, we did all this work. What is actually generating change? What is generating improvement? What is generating progress? Because I don't want to have to go back and just flail around wildly right? I'm trying to do a few incredibly high quality modifications that are going to get 80 to 90% of all the improvement you're going to see in that market. Remember, this brings us back to this momentum cycle where if we just say like, hey, I'm going to do the exact same thing every month. I'm doing two articles. I'm doing five links. I'm doing three optimizations, whatever it is. I can almost guarantee that that work is low quality. And why? Because one, they already know what they're going to do and they're going to do it no matter what is going on in your market. So you need 10 links, tough nuts, right? You only need one link, tough nuts, right? They're not making any uh, changes that make the stuff that they're doing relevant to you and your situation and your market. Secondly, right? Anything they can do without thinking about that you can just do every month, like links is a really good example. If you can do five links every single month in the real estate investor space, right? Without, there is no way you are doing that without cheating in some way, whether you're building low quality links, you're doing spammy links, you're using a private blog network, whatever it is, right? All legitimate agencies are going to operate on some variation of a momentum cycle where there's intense work followed by monitoring, followed by a revision of the strategy, fixing errors, fix, you know, making changes, etc. Because that's what works. That's what works. That's why people do this this way. And so when I see companies offering these like really weird monthly packages where it's the same thing every month, I just know that that's something that's good for the SEO company. That's something they can put on autopilot that they barely have to think about, right? Good SEO is incredibly labor intensive and that's why it has to work on a cycle just like going to the gym and lifting weights is incredibly labor intensive, right? So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about this, you wanna talk about SEO, you wanna talk about pay-per-click, you wanna just talk about online marketing in general, our team, we only work with investors. Happy to talk to you and just kind of break down what we see in your market right now and what we would do in your place. You can go there. It's adwordsnurse.com slash strategy to get a free strategy session. There's like no sales pitch. It's, it's just primarily informative. And I'll let us know what's going on. But I hope that makes sense, guys. I hope that's something that um, you can use in your own life when you're talking to these folks because there's a lot of people out there promoting stuff like this. Honestly, stuff like what I do. And it kind of irritates me that there's so much low quality stuff. So if you have questions, let me know, pop me a Facebook message um, or find me on the REI Marketing Nerds Facebook group. 
Um, just search for REI Marketing Nerds. Totally free Facebook group. I'm in there all the time doing free trainings like this. And uh, yeah, hope that was helpful. I'm going to go drink some iced coffee. All right. Cheers, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.